Hi everyone, and today we are going to be taking a look at using the camera, the portfolio, and the, the signs and the boards, uh, all tools that you are going to be using throughout our time using Minecraft Education Edition. So to pull out all of those tools, we're going to first, we're going to take a look at the camera. We're going to press E on our keyboard, and this will bring up our uh, our big menu here of all the things that we can put into our inventory. We're just going to type in camera. So the camera looks like this here, and I'm just going to drop it into my inventory. And I'm going to use my scroll bar to go to my camera, you can see that uh, my character equips it. I'm going to get out of this view here and go back to my normal view. To use your camera, you are going to right click at anything you want and you're going to see it's going to snap a picture. Um, what is super cool about this is, oh, I can take a picture of the, the bumblebee here is you can also place the camera down. Um, to place the camera down, what you can do is, I believe it might have to be on um, world builder mode, let's just see, yeah. So I just changed this down. You can set your camera here and you can right click on it again. And you can see it's like a timer, it'll go off and you can actually pose with your, your camera. So your teacher might ask you to take pictures of various um, things around your, your map or, or your world or some of your creations. Um, and that's how you use the camera. Now you might ask, where do those pictures go? So what's super cool is these pictures actually go directly into the portfolio. So the portfolio looks like this here. It's a little book. We're going to drag that down. And if I put that into my hand by either clicking one or two, that's how you can um, move quickly. Um, you can use your number keys at the top, or you can just use your scroll wheel or two fingers if you are on a laptop to scroll. If I open this up, you're going to see all of my pictures. Um, from most recent appearing first. Mm -hmm. So the nice thing about the portfolio is you can go in and you can add captions. When you are all done with that, you have the option to export your portfolio. And this is really, really cool. So when you export your portfolio, you can choose where to save it. I'm just going to save it in my downloads folder. And now when I go into my downloads folder and I track this down, let's see, did it save yet? So as you can see here, it creates this pretty cool um, PDF of your creations. So your teacher might ask uh, for this as an example of uh, your work. The other thing I want to show you before we end off here is the boards and the signs. So boards, um, they're just like chalkboards. And we have signs, and there's a whole bunch of different signs here. I'm just going to take this one here. So boards, um, you can provide instructions or anything like that directly on your um, on your world. So you might have to give instructions for people on how to navigate your world. And so boards are an excellent way to do that. Another option is signs. And so signs are very similar to boards, except you would use them um, maybe not to give instructions, but to point out different things. So I know lots of, of people um, 
like to label their buildings of what they're looking at or what they are, a sign is a really good way to do that. So you might say the restaurant, if you were building a restaurant, Okay, so that is a quick example of how to use those mm. tools.